So, yeah. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. It's weird like that. Yeah. But the thing is, is like, uh, big companies like Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, um, do tend to get a little feisty when it comes to their games. And the so game. that's why Nintendo's doing that whole program. Is like, if you're going to play games and do your own thing and make profit out of it, uh-huh. you better say something nice instead of saying something bad. I don't know. Like, I kind of want to say it's mostly Microsoft and Sony that are, like, on ahead. I yes. feel like it's just those two ahead. Yeah. Nintendo is... But, like, Nintendo's... Did this, is slowly this, catching up. Yeah, Nintendo, no, Nintendo did this new program on YouTube where it's like, if you play a game, you we get a portion of... Of um the what? profits you get. What? Yeah, it's something new. It's like um. How do you portion zero? Oh, <laughs> with another zero. <laughs> That's the thing because um okay. If they Here's get a, negative dollars out of that, I'm gonna be surprised. Because you know how you can make profit off of YouTube. Yeah. Like that's what it is. Like if you want to be a game commenter, you can play any game you want. But the thing is, you're gonna have to face the wrath of whatever the corporation. Company. Yeah, the corporation that you're gonna be going. So against. be ready. Get your get your sword shield. And for Mr. F, his Viking ship and armada ready, <laughs> he's going to war <laughs> against uh-huh. whatever company he gets. I guess we're going on Sony. Um, whatever counts. Even if it's just a little a stick company for some reason. Well, don't ask why it's a stick company, we'll figure it out. Because they sell sticks. Well, eventually Disney's going to own everything anyways. <laughs> Seriously, oh, yeah. it feels like that, doesn't it? That is proclaimed no, by Walt Disney. Disney. Don't do it! It feels like it, doesn't it? They just want one violent movie from Disney. <laughs> one, yeah, me too. What's that one violent movie from Disney? Oh, wait, that's all of them, if you look closer. <laughs> General, um, Scar from The Lion King, he was viciously murdered by a bunch of jackals. But they didn't want to show the gore because it was. No, but that's the thing is like I kind of want to see that kind of movie. It's like this is gonna one day just show some guy's head get chopped off. <sighs> I thought I was hoping that the uh, a Japanese version of the of the Disney movie, the Lion King. Oh, white, had, white. What was it called again? Huh? It was like White Simba. Yeah, I was hoping that it actually have some more gore than it Simba. usually. Did. It was a kids anime. I don't care. It was a kid's anime. It, it should have something. It, they're going to show lions in the wild. Show lions in the fucking wild. It was a kid's <laughs> anime in the 70s, I think. Uh, so what? It, it It's good for show. I'd say it'd be funny if Disney, like, you know how they all do the family-friendly thing? They make a video game once, and it's just them. It's all bloody as hell. <laughs> like, aftermath. They did make a game called Aladdin. It was fighting... But, um, go. the monkey didn't find its way on <laughs> on the first game, but the second remake of it, it had the monkey. It I mean, was just talking through most of it. I mean, yes, sometimes, like, Disney, for me. like <laughs> Disney does get away with a few things. Like, um, in the game Haunted Mansion, there's only, like, one jump scare. Oh, no. And it's effective. <laughs> it's effective. Oh, no, because, um, in the Haunted Mansion, I bought the game because I wanted to play it. It's pretty fun. It's a really cool, it's a really cool, um, game. But once you come up against these, um, the enemies called the Brides, the way they introduced them was, like, pretty pretty damn horrifying when you were a kid, when you played it. Let me guess, it's gonna be a, a what seems like a, a woman in a, in a wedding dress, and then all of a sudden just pops out, like, horrified. Like, a horrible demonic creature. In my isn't, that going da- isn't that going down the aisle when you realize something horrible is about to happen? Yeah, but they, like, they set it up, was like, I know something's gonna happen, oh, no, no, no! But, like, I like it. Like, stuff like that, like, this needs to do a little bit more. But isn't that the same difference between a guy and a, his girlfriend during a pregnancy test? No. <laughs> yeah, for oh. Disney, they might want to consider doing, like, a, the gore button. You know, like, how some games, uh, off to the menu, you see, like, there's a little gore on-off button. Well, Maybe just do that. <laughs> or, like, what they did in Real Legends. They give you an option at the beginning well, of the game. to censor it? Yeah, yeah, would you like to censor because it's funny as hell, or would you like to hear every shit they're saying? You click yes. Almost everyone clicks or presses yes, whatever you have it on. You know and what's then, funny? Sorry. Finish? And then there's the other option. You want to see bloody gore or you want to see some bitches faint? Real Legends is one of the games that actually like tells you, you know what? You can turn on the censorship and it's actually going to make the game a lot funnier than the teams. Yes. But most people would like the blood and gore at times. Like, that would have been, been cool if you could um, censor the the language you can the bleeps yeah but then once you censor the whole well, no, once you click the whole censor 
censor the game, yeah. it's gonna censor like all the gore and all that crap. Like you're just gonna see it, but you're just not gonna see blood. And the options you can censor, you can uncensor it. Yeah. No, but I'm trying to say is like they give you the option to censor like the foul language. Like instead of them saying fuck, they're gonna be saying bleep. Yeah, <laughs> bleep. <laughs> it's just the longest. That's what like bleep. It's gonna be the longest running bleep you can ever find. And one of the segments of the game is actually the beginning. <laughs> Good luck. And welcome to the legends. Uh, what the fuck are we doing again? I don't know. Exactly. Uh, brutal. Like brutal legends. Brutal legends. Welcome to the game of motherfucking metal. Then again, you find uh, the main character is interesting, Jack Black. Yeah. Uh, yep. Like he's he's what it would be like if he actually went to that world. He would be the most badass motherfucker there. He plays the guitar. He hits people with the fucking axe. He decapitates almost anything he sees. You know, you know what I love about Jack Black and Tenacious D? When Tenacious D did yeah. metal, metal music? Yeah. And then some, some one year they transitioned to jazz? Oh, Do you God. remember that? Yes. Oh my, the album was so cool because it was just so <laughs> stupid to hear. But it was actually pretty cool. Like, And then they should make a sequel to that. And they make fun of themselves. They Instead of having Brutal Legends, going to be Smooth Legends. Oh, where God. it's going to be nothing but like um, jazz, <laughs> jazz musicians in the game. God. It's um, stupid. That would have been weird. So the thing I enjoy about Brutal Legend is they had some of the some of the old actual the actual people who I know they were, had like they had like freaking legendary rock uh, legends. Actually. Yeah, they had Ozzy Osbourne as your vendor, <laughs> main vendor, your main vendor in the entire game. No matter where you go, Ozzy Osbourne comes out of the fucking fire in his in his uh, Guardian of Darkness suit. That's fucking badass. Like. <laughs> I'm I'm the guardian of fucking metal. <laughs> uh, uh, those were really good days. Yeah. No, there was another thing, another controversy. Characters that look like people in real life, uh, like famous people in real life, like in uh, No More Heroes, looks like Johnny Knoxville. Oh yeah. That was the most. That was the most interesting part I found out. That uh, Johnny fucking Knoxville would have made a perfect part as Travis Touchdown, or I think. He may have in the movie, in the movie, yes. live action movie. If they made a live action movie of uh, No More Heroes, I would love to see Johnny Knoxville as the main character there, just chopping heads with this fucking beam katana. But but the United States learns their lessons that we can't make movies, video games, into movies anymore. Yes, we can. It was called Tron. They managed to do it once. They that, that was Tron in the eighties. I mean, speaking about today, yeah, did. Was, I was like, when was the last time they did a, mo a game about a movie about a game? We'll look it up later. Eventually, Simone and Pumbaa yeah. will figure it out later on too. <laughs> they made vehicle rides out of the out of these games. They made Disneyland out of a game. Oh wait, that was the other way around. Yeah, I think you're like <laughs> talking about Cars Land. <laughs> like that's a movie to an attraction, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm talking about, like, Dragon Ball Z evolution shit. Well, Something. <laughs> no, no, they turn, they turn almost anything into a movie these days, though. Yeah, you I'm still right. waiting for Player Select to be a movie. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good book. Yeah, I've never read the book. Read the book, no, read the book, it's gonna be really, really cool, you're gonna like it. I'll read it later. Uh, back uh, to whatever subject we were talking about. <laughs> Pornography for the blind. Oh, wow. Is it, is it good, bad, or just interesting to wonder how they watch it? Is it like Braille or something? Like, they just put it on the wall and just let them... It's like a big old book of nothing but bla a gray Braille. It's just going... Moving his finger across the, the dots. Aww. God, that's hot. <laughs> so stupid. Or oh, like what Family Guy did, uh, Peter Griffin. Bump, bump, two bumps. Oh, yeah. Bump in a line. <laughs> <laughs> and the blind guy was laughing. Uh, but other than that, no no offense to the blind people, but we're just uh, talking our own ways, talking about the paths of life, and what other bullshit we talk about. So if you're offended, uh -huh. don't blame us. Nah. Blame other societies. Blame your doctor. <laughs>